I'd like to look at how to make a line of best fit, specifically the least squared regression line, using a TI calculator, and I'll use this problem as a context. In 2005, the formation of Tropical Storm Epsilon set a record for the greatest number of named storms in the Atlantic in a single hurricane season at 28. The following table records the number of named storms, hurricanes, and tropical storms in the Atlantic since 1984. So here's the table, and I've already put this information into my calculator, into L1 and L2. If you have not done so, uh, pause the video and do it so you can uh, practice this as well. To do it, I turned on my calculator, I pressed STAT, and then ENTER so that I'm editing it, and I entered the data into L1 and into L2. Uh, so you can do that now. After doing it, uh, just for grins, I went ahead and made a scatter plot. So I pressed second stat plot, turned it on, made this first graph right here. That's a scatter plot of L1 and L2. And then I also noticed uh, that plot 2 was on, so I want to turn that off. And then to graph, I press zoom 9. Zoom 9 is zoom stat. So I can press zoom and the number 9. And it will give me a graph that looks like that. And that indicates to me that perhaps there is some relationship. Maybe I could describe it as a linear relationship uh, between these two variables. And the two variables are the year and then the number of named storms. That'd be great if I put a title and a scale on, on this graph as well, but I'm showing you now how to find the least squared regression line. So to do this, I'm going to press STAT, CALC, and either number 4 for linear regression or number 8 for linear regression. I personally prefer number 8, so that's what I'm going to do here. It gives me the answer in A plus BX form. So I press LINREG number 8, hit enter, and my data is going to be in L1 and L2. The frequency list is going to be left blank because all of these numbers occurred once. And here where it says store reg EQ, what that means is it's going to store the regression equation in my calculator for me. I'd like to do that. And so to do that, I'm going to press VARS, YVARS, function, Y1. And so now what my calculator is going to do is find the regression equation and then save it in Y1. So now I press calculate and it gives me some information here. If your calculator does not show the R squared and R values, you can turn your diagnostics on. One way to do this is to press second catalog, scroll down to the D's, press diagnostics on and hit it again. It will toggle them on and then you can repeat this process. So here is my line of best fit. My equation is y hat equals negative 544 plus 0.279x and I should define x as the year and y as the number of named storms. The r squared value indicates that about 20% of the change in named storms could have been anticipated using this line, this line that graphs the number of named storms onto the year. Uh, but also now at this point if I press Y equals I see that the equation is right here and this allows me to do all sorts of interesting things. One of them is if I now press zoom 9 I get the same graph I had before but now the line of best fit is superimposed on it. Another thing that it will allow me to do is to make predictions uh, a little quicker. So one way to do it is from my home from my home screen to press VARS, YVARS, function, Y1. And now I'm going to predict how many storms I could see in, oh, say, uh, 2010. So I'm going to enter here, 2010. And this is what the data would predict for 2010. And so that idea there, I'll move it down here, is how you're going to go about 
uh, finding a least squared regression line, saving it in your calculator, and then uh, graphing it if you need to.